old San Juan. Few landmarks represent Puerto Rico's legacy within the Caribbean and the Americas than Castillo San Felipe del Moro. During most of its nearly 500 year history, it was an important military outpost for Spain and later the United States. The United States used the fort during both world wars. Follow me as I take you on this journey through one of Puerto Rico's most beloved historical landmarks as well as the infamous Isla Verde. In this video, I hope you experience the culture of the beautiful Puerto Rican people, as well as see some amazing scenery, and most of all, a sense that you've been here before. If you've never visited, welcome. To those returning, welcome back. La Pedra, Mellow, CB. Like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Speak a little louder so y'all can hear me. Man, I love my island, Puerto Rico, man. For the, for yo, for those, <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know, I'm actually Puerto Rican and black. My mother's Puerto Rican, my father's black, 50 50. This is about my fifth time to Puerto Rico. I actually got another family vlog that I haven't dropped yet. I might drop it. I don't know yet. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, go ahead and like, drop a comment, make sure you subscribe, and ring that notification bell. With that said, you already know what it is. Let's get some more footage. While exploring Moro's upper deck, one thing you'll notice is outposts, where the soldiers could watch for incoming ships as well as remain safe if need be. One thing I wanted to note is that there's a lot of Americans from the states in Puerto Rico visiting as well. So if you've never been, don't worry, you'll feel right at home. Also, if you look behind me right here to my right, you'll see the outpost that I was referring to.
tip, do yourself a favor and get a peek at the surrounding islands. You won't regret it. Informative presentations paint a vivid picture of the importance of Puerto Rico as a strategic entry point to the Americas and the evolution of El Moro and its artillery over the last five centuries. distance you can see La Perra where I will be taking you next. I really encourage you guys to read some of these posts so you can get a better understanding behind the history of this beautiful monument. My mother's first time in Puerto Rico. She's loving it. Ma, say what's up. What's up? First time in Puerto Rico? First time. You enjoying yourself? I love it. What love do you it. think about it? It's gorgeous. I love any beautiful view. Any beautiful view. Puerto Rico is gorgeous. Amazing. Now y'all gotta forgive me right here. It was a very windy day and basically the audio was unusable in which I didn't notice until I got home and loaded the footage on my laptop. But I went ahead and dropped subtitles on this clip because I wanted to keep y'all in tune with what was going on. The best advice you have is the one in your pocket. This right here. Invest in your phone, guys. A lot of this footage that you see is gonna be coming from my iPhone 12 Pro Max. The stabilization is crazy. Don't get me wrong, the DJI in my pocket is cool, but DJI, if y'all see this, look at that. Look at that, DJI. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. It's time to take you guys to the moment you've been waiting for, the infamous La Perra. My life squad, where you at? Notification gang, where you at? Make sure you drop a comment and share this video with a friend. Now right here we have Carmelo Anthony's basketball court, former New York Nick. Wow, Melo. Real mellow, that's how you doing it out here in P. Rico. I felt very privileged to be able to come down here and get on this court and later in the night actually play a couple pickup games with some of the locals. Probably one of my best experiences out here in Puerto Rico.
this right here was a little restaurant that I spotted walking by. Let me tell you, some of the best food I've ever had. I definitely recommend. Pause the video, get the name of this spot. Come here and eat. You will not regret it. By the look in my face, I was already a little tipsy here. A couple Don Q's and that passion fruit. So y'all know I couldn't leave y'all hanging. Just finished having some drinks and some good food. Now I'm going to the actual, the second, I don't know, this is like a museum, a tower, or the historical monument, Better in better words. Excuse the wind, there's a lot of wind out here. You know, I'm on the iPhone, it's a mixture between it's a mixture between the iPhone and the Osmo Pocket, but you already know what the deal is. I, believe it or not, I've been to Puerto Rico about four or five times and I've never came to this one. So this is going to be my first time and it's going to be y'all first time. As y'all can see, they got a city below us. This is the Castillo de San Cristobal monument. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I think so. But anyways, you see we got some other tourists here. Everybody love the YouTube, you know what I mean, vlog life. But as you can see, it was pretty empty. Not too many people in this actual monument, which was good because, you know, with the pandemic and everything, you don't want to be around too many people anyway. But I mean, look at these remarkable views, man. I mean, you really can kind of see the whole island. This is what happens when you get a couple of drinks in you. At that Don Q. Make sure y'all get that with the passion fruit. Courtesy of CB. abundance of iguanas perched up on the side of these buildings trying to soak in all the sun that they can more views now, i don't care how many i show you these do not get old just look at the architecture the different colors in the buildings they have a real colonial time vibe to them. Breathtaking. All right, so, so right here, I got the push-up challenge going on. I'm challenging all the YouTubers out there. I want you to go to a beautiful landmark and just get down and, and bust out some push-ups, man. I got my man King Lockett out there in the Dominican Republic. I challenged him. He had me step up my game to another level, so that's what you're witnessing right here. Push-up challenge. Just left Moro. This is a little restaurant down here in Puerto Rico, Old San Juan, as you can see. Got a fat Tuesdays over here too. If you ever in Puerto Rico, make sure you come to this restaurant and come eat in Old San Juan. You won't be disappointed. Hey, y'all heard it first. That was my tour of Old San Juan. I took you to Moro. I took you to La Perra. I told you about the restaurants. You know what I mean? I 
I showed you some historical stuff, man. I'm going to conclude this up. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm about to head back to the resort in Pajardo. With that said, man, it's your boy to like the CB. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'll be with y'all on the next one.